right, so one of these days, up. Oh, that didn't turn back on. One of these days, I'm going to get like a push button that I can do from back at my desk or back at the the workbench. Let's see. Yeah. Check out that third angle. One of these days, I'll get up so, so I can just be like, boop, and then change scenes from here or just have it like right there so I can just kick. That would be nice. Also, Mecca gets to miss out on this, but this is my first toolbox. Dad built this for me when I was in kindergarten. This was my kindergarten gift, was this toolbox and a bunch of tools, like an actual you know steel hammer and all that stuff, screwdrivers. I don't have the screwdrivers or the steel hammer anymore, but one of the tools that came in it was this old diamond crescent wrench, which so far has outlasted any other tool that I have owned. I mean, I even prefer to use that old diamond crescent wrench over my Craftsman of the same size. But it is literally the perfect size to hold my molding plane. So it's gonna be my molding plane carrier for now because I'm not leaving these down uh, down here at all. God forbid there's another flood. I don't want to have to reorder these because the last wooden planes I had got destroyed. Um, so pick up, take home. Or pick up, take upstairs. So how have you been, Nail? Uh, probably need to trim my mustache again. I'm getting drippies everywhere. Okay, we're gonna need these. Oh, also, pro oh no, you can see it. There's a box here, and Mecca is probably gonna be angry because he doesn't get to see it in live action. But in a little bit. Once we get set up, I'm gonna open that box. I did open it before, I just wanted to make sure there was no doxing material in it. And I removed a couple things that had my address in it. Uh, just, you know, shipping things. So we're gonna get set up here, you know, move tools where they're supposed to be. Like such. I kind of like it this way. We'll just have those there. And what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try a real profile. We're not just going to play around, okay? I don't know if it's trying to follow me now. I just saw it do stuff. Um, I know that this is a little low resolution. So. We're going to be trying this profile right here and seeing if I can do it. You know, just going to keep playing with these planes until I can get them to go. The, the hope of the matter is, is I get decent enough that I can make moldings for a uh, picture frame type thing. So we can finally make that sticker board. You know, that sticker board I talked about like way back when I didn't even have a bench. <laughs> So we're going to try and make our own molding and make our own sticker board completely from, you know, like poplar and plywood. So, but the first thing we're going to do is something I said we were going to do. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good, Craftsman. Glad to catch you on uh, James Wright's... Uh, Uh, on his stream, let's see, how do we want to do We're just going to do faces. Um, I'm going to quickly, you know, mark, oh, one second. We're going to test this out again because this doesn't like facings, if I remember correctly. And this is...
that's what I thought. We got to do end grain. Okay. So we actually should probably get through unboxing first then. If this is how that's going to be. So we are going to just loosely put you back into place. Because I need the vise. Don't worry. Hey, life in pain, how are you doing? So we're gonna take the sticking board down. We're gonna take a bunch of stuff down here. So we're gonna go ahead and get the unboxing done. Remember, this came from James Wright. Um, he's got a YouTube channel, Wood by Wright. Uh, if you really must know, I use his, his uh, hard wax all the time for preventative measures. All right, well then we're gonna do the unboxing while you're here, because I know we talked about it a little bit, and then we'll move on to marking my planes and working on stickings. So like I said, this was something that I had arranged, or me and James arranged with each other. You know, it'd be nice if I brought my knife down here. Um, uh, basically what happened is, basically what happened is, uh, James, uh, James Wright expressed interest in getting the hollow and round bottoms for Stanley 45. I have no use for those hollow and rounds. I have a set of eights and we, we worked out a, a deal, basically. Uh, I'd give him the hollow and round number eights with the plates, and he'd give me a uh, five TPI uh, handsaw. Um, and right off the bat, something we're working on is a sticker board, so we're gonna have to put the uh, wood by right sticker on there eventually. I was not expecting this, but I'm actually very happy about it um, because I need to, I need a new strop because the other one was fully submerged and I just hadn't replaced it yet. I'm assuming, yeah, paper. Paper. Now it's not a distin. I'm not that picky, even though my other two hand saws are distins. I mean, they're modern distins. Oh, wax applicator. He does, sh he ships these with everything. And basically what the idea is, is if you got soft wax, use that to scoop it out or break it up a little bit. I don't really use these, but they're fun. All right, and then box. I had to, the only reason it was already open is I wanted to thoroughly de-dox it, um, not have my address anywhere on it. Okay, thank you, James, for using <laughs> uh, painter's tape. Much easier to open than when people use boxing tape on, on <laughs> bubble wrap. And I'm hoping that that my shipment to him made it to him okay. And at some point in time, I do believe there will be a video on those hollow and round attachments on uh, James Wright's YouTube channel, Wood by Wright, or possibly Wood by Wright How To. Um, he has a couple different channels. And I, I'm excited to see what he does with those. Because like I said, I don't really have a use for them and I'd rather they go to a good home because I've got my left hand hollow and rounds. That was the big thing, um, is that the 45 is right-handed and I'd, if I'm gonna do finesse work, like hollow and round work, I'd rather it be left-handed where I actually have finesse. Ooh, I won't be able to wrap Christmas gifts this year. So many layers. Okay, which way do we go now? Up, up. Oh, that is a nice touch. Hey, we got more. We've got more poplar for uh, sticking. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't expecting that, but that is a very nice touch. So, something that nail you're going to be happy about, and a bunch of other people are going to be happy about is that because this is five TPI, I'm gonna be able to break down boards a lot faster.
a lot faster. At least doubly fast because it's going to be chewing through wood like a demon. I will check squareness later. Yes, five teeth per inch. It is not, it is not, it is an Atkins saw. Um, and to give, yeah, give, give you an idea, here is my Distin. Um, it is eight TPI. So we're, we're only gaining three TPI, but look at the difference in how big the teeth are. Those, these teeth are gonna remove material like a demon. So when I start breaking down boards, I'm probably gonna grab this guy first. And it's got a lot of life left in it with that, that thick of a, it's got more life left in it than my distance. <laughs> and my distance are modern. Ooh, this has got a, I'm not gonna have to reshape this handle at all. This has got a really, really nice horn on it. I might do a little bit of shaping. I might give myself a finger impression here. I like to do that every once in a while. Um, but this is nice. I'm going to hang this up here. All right. And I don't need a lock nut. Good. I don't need a lock nut screwdriver. It's got standard. And we have extra boards to play around with sticking wise. I wasn't expecting that, but it will be perfectly fine for me. Looks like he uh, used the chisel on these every once in a while. All right, now let's mark the planes. have one vice now the leg vice is gone put this out of the way not there because I'll never for remember it's there put that in front of the computer because if I'm staring at it while I pack up everything in the shop it'll make its way upstairs but we're gonna eventually have to make a sticker board for that but also because of all the other stickers I have Got to get all those Craftsman's Guild member stickers going. Okay. <laughs> Which ones do I use? The ones that don't line up with any. Um, a sticking board is just a fancy name for the jig you use to make st sticks of molding. So this is a sticking board, um, just a piece of poplar. And they come, this is about as rudimentary of a sticking board as you can get. It's just a flatbed and a, and a fence behind it. So I can just sit here and, and it's got some stops here down at the end, which are just screws, um, so that I can use my hollows and rounds to make a stick of molding. More complicated ones will have steps and notches in it so you can flip the molding around and do different types of structure. One I'm going to make in the future is going to have a step specifically so that I can do the back rabbit on a picture frame. Do that first then flip it over, set it on that step so that it's got full support while I do the molding on top. That is what a sticking board is. It is kind of a weird name, but it is what it is. Okay. Oh, awesome. I just realized this. All of my marks to where this physically sits on my bench are gone because we planed those off. You know what that means. We're going to figure that out real quick and then draw marks again. Okay. Open this up so I can see that we're just about level.
I think it's just old terminology to tell you the truth. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it'll be fine. And to save setup time in the future, we're remarking this. Because I'm lazy and I'd rather just go, okay, line it up for these holes, you're good. Okay, now to mutilate my planes. Yes, I did just say that. It is not, um, it will be. Sorry, it's, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I can't multi-stream, but um, it will be on YouTube at a later date, probably much later, just because I'm very slow at getting them on. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, that answers that question. Nope, we're not doing it this way. It's gonna have to be this way. We'll see what happens here. Okay, we're not going to sit here and work these, I guess. I don't know. Touch that up later. I'll just have to make a, a few adjustments and get this thing where I can have it set flat like that and hold it because it's doing way better on the end grain even though I kind of <laughs> hit it without it shifting in the vise. Okay, so let's get you back off and get the sticking board back into position. Um, but yeah, Craftsman, I, it will be up at some point in time later to uh, 
YouTube. I can't really tell you when because I'm still uploading stuff from before the flood. If that tells you how far behind I am. something here and we will fix that two seconds I'll be back just getting back into actually streaming <laughs> There we go, Minimax is here. building until then. All right. Hey, cat, how are you doing? Sticking boards in place. I'm doing okay. What's making me shitty? And we're gonna do that. So that you guys don't have to suffer my face. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, Linux can be a hit or miss kind of fun time. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Of course, you know, digging around in my pockets, never going to find what I'm looking for. Because I don't know which pockets they're in anymore. There you are. Ah. Um... Honestly, I'm trying to think, like, I, which kernel are you, you or not kernel, I don't, maybe it's a kernel, I don't know anymore, uh, which build are you using? Um, I don't really know. Like, I'm not the best person to ask. Um, so like, are you using Ubuntu? Are you using Lime? Are you using, well, which, I, I don't know what to, more to call it. Mint. Okay, Mint's actually one of the easier ones. At least for me it was. Um... Because it's closer to Windows in working. Okay, so I'm gonna take the cheater method here and go where are my hollows and rounds? Thank you. What are we trying to install? Okay, 
what was the profile I was looking to do? Um, uh, got, uh, I can't help you with DAOs. Because <laughs> uh, Digital Audio Workplace, I think is what it is. But yeah, I, I cannot help you with DAOs because I don't, I didn't play with DAOs while I was playing with Linux. Where are you at? We wanted to try the complicated thing because we hurt ourselves. Very true. Okay, so we want a hollow. And okay, so it's step, hollow, step, round. Gotcha. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That, like I said, I'm just kind of playing with the shape here and just tracing, literally tracing the bed of my plane. And we want around. Let's. Now that we've got the shapes, take those two out, put these two back. Okay. Tell me if it works. All right. So with that, let's start marking gauge lines and see if we can do things correctly. What I'm doing now is now that I've established the profile, let's see, like that, I'm doing marking gauge lines to connect everything so that I have lines to reference while I'm rabbiting down. But yeah, from what I've seen, a lot of the times you just use the plane itself as your curve and just trace trace the plane because 90 percent chance you don't have the right plane or for me because i don't even have a quarter set you don't have the right plane for the exact curve but you can at least you know mimic that curve with what you've got and that's what I'm doing, is I am mimicking that curve. Come on. Be nice. Rewind. Be kind, rewind. There we go. Okay. And so I'm just right now laying out all the horizontal inflection points in lines. So that I have reference points of where to start and stop. This one is going to get erased anyways. There's no reason to run the long line because by the time I get there, I will have already killed it. horizontal line that gets erased on the front because I just need that depth on the front there. 
Okay. And that's almost all the lines. Okay, one more, one more. The last shelf. I'm trying to be an impressive woodworker. I am not that person. Okay. Now we do the verticals. And all of the vertical lines actually do need to be transferred onto the face because I'm going to be slowly, basically, rabbiting my way down the line. Let me see if I can do it the old fashioned way. That line's there. So I'm, I will show you guys the abomination of lines in a bit once I get them all marked. Because it will not take that long. But give you an idea what what kind of layout goes into hand making this molding. Right. Big fat ugly bug face oh. baby eating a brain. We got a follower. Hi. I I think it said Alex. <clears throat> Alan Alanator. Uh, thank you for the follow. I'm just going to call you Alan at the moment. I'm sorry. Can't pronounce your name. Don't. Please don't be angry at me. Um, thank you for the follow. Um, glad to see you're in here. Uh, if you don't mind if I ask uh, how you found me, what, what brought you into a uh, crazy kid trying to make woodworking the hard and old-fashioned way? All right, one more layout set of layout lines, and we will get on to the hollow and rounds. Or really, we'll be getting on to the rabbit plane first. Ooh. There we go. So, like I said, I'll show you guys the layout lines here. I hope that's visually okay, but basically all of the horizontal and vertical inflection points have been marked out and the appropriate lines drawn across the face. This is the curve for that uh, fillet and the curve for that fillet. And we're going to hope to make this shape. And say we will succeed. That is a very tall order indeed to think that'll happen. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Got you stopped. Now we need to set these planes. Okay, so. Because this is definitely not set correctly. 
Um, this one is, isn't at least. All right, like we did last time, we've got that these nice lines showing us where we need to go. So we tilt, we hope for the best, and make nothing. Okay, so that tells me a lot right there that this is not set properly. Okay. There we go. Up, up, up. Stop steering like a drunk. One more just to make sure we've got a good ledge right there. All right, and now we start the fun. Layer down. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. And we make an oops. That's going to be a problem the entire time I'm doing this rabbit until I get it deep enough that we get past it.
And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm learning, so feel free to ask. I'll probably give you an answer that... Hey, excellent chance. I know that's you because it, like I said, sounded like a weird Aztec god in the TTS. All right. There, we're actually trying a real profile this time. <laughs> Instead of just playing around. Also, I've got this nice forward down cam now. I figured out a place to put it. We're doing just fine. I am not making mistakes at all. Asterix. There's where the problem is. Okay. Hey, cat. Did you fix? Did it, did it start working or was it still a problem? Gotcha. Which one? Gotcha. Okay. can't remember what came with my Zoom H5. Gotcha. Oh wait, never mind. That that's that's doll, not mixer. Okay. I mean, it came out as higher, like I'm hearing you audibly. So like if you're just typing the wrong homonym, I'm going to hear it correctly.
Okay, there we go. We got the track actually established now. I don't have to sit here and worry about the correction there. So now we can just whittle this poplar down. Um, I'm going to try at least one frame. Right now, this is all just practice. Um, but what I want to do is make one frame so that I can make, you know, I can just put a piece of plywood in it and make it my sticker board. It's that way it's, you know, it was made with blood, sweat, and tears on the channel instead of bought for $30 at Michael's. Because I'm weird like that. I gotta get better at holding this thing flat. That is very true. Woodwork's not complete until there's blood on the project. Pretty sure every single thing I've built so far on stream has blood on it. That's why I have the redwood counter. What's going on here? Hey, Jack. <laughs> hey, Jack, how you doing? Thank you for the raid. Got well. Um, for those who don't know, I'm Wes. This is uh, this is uh, plain old woodworking. I typically do traditional wo woodworking here. Um, not traditional, but just hand tool woodworking. Uh, right now we're trying to learn how to make molding with uh, molding planes. And <laughs> slowly getting it. So, Jack, what, what were you doing, guys? And uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I should probably turn the volume down on that rate alert. <laughs> but let me see who all is. All right, standing, glad to see you here, uh, clarinet fellow. Uh, uh, thank you for the, uh, thank you for dropping in here and, oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, we, I'm trying to figure out the views. I mean, it's not hard. It's clarinet and fella. Do, do people have a problem with that one? Let's square it up again. We're getting off track. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, TTS screws up your name really bad. Because Claire, uh, because uh, clarinet fellow all right, have a good one. Uh, because TTS said clarinet P, uh, what was it? Clarinet P hello, which is kind of funny. Gonna get, gotta get used to how to hold this thing so I don't have to keep fixing my wall. We're getting somewhere. I'm actually, if anything, like I said, I just need practice with these guys. They're what the second time I've ever used them. So, and you're in 
Tuning into the long boring part where I'm just making all the rabbits before we use the curves. Yep, they seem to multiply on their own, don't they? That's how we'll do that. I will appreciate that, tell you the truth. Honestly, I'm thinking about it now and I should have done it this way. I should have I should have had it like this and just planed it down this way because that's that would have worked so much better. Honestly, let's see if we can do it. Yes, I, I'm I'm an idiot in trying to do this, but I didn't even think about that. That I should have started from this side. But we're going to do it now. Because it makes more sense. Because once you get down to this bottom, there's no wood to put your fingers against. I'm learning things. What? The? Stop jumping over the <laughs> the stops. Now stay in place. But hey, if we're learning things, That means I can get better. I can change, I can change. Sorry, starting them, I'm still very... Starting a rabbit, I'm still very slow. Oh no, the earbud's trying to fall out. No, stay in there, earbud. Oh, once you get those first couple swipes in, you establish that edge, it gets a lot easier.
It's working. It's working. I'm liking them. I said I'm still learning them, but I think I'm taking to them pretty fast. I can think of a couple more sizes I want to be able to do the moldings I want, but I want to get to the point where I can at least make moldings before I start getting more. Because I... Oh, I know, but I... I got mine made because they're left-handed. They're southpaw planes. See so that I can have my finesse hand as the power. Nope. <laughs> I have, I have. I mean, like the Stanley 45 is a right, right hand plane, but for something like finesse, like uh, something finessey, kind of like making molding. I know. <laughs> I know you are. Big fat That's why it's fun. Big face baby eating O'Brien. Hi. <clears throat> Not your average something. <laughs> Not your average all. Uh, thank you for the. Uh, thank you for the follow. Same questions as always. <laughs> what drew you in here? Uh, glad you're here, um, Wes. I do codgerly woodworking stuff. Okay, gotta catch up on this side. Oh no! Stop. <laughs> There's supposed to be a stop there. there guys don't worry <laughs> then we move on to another rabbit rabbit rebate rabbity rebate I think, provided the stop stays in place. Doesn't help that this wood is a little bit catawonky. Also doesn't help that the screw is just done with life, apparently. here on this guideline for the next rabbit down oh guys yeah duh for those who haven't who haven't been here at the beginning this is kind of the profile we're going for we got a step here a curve here a little step and then a curve and then the flat up here we're just playing around with them seeing if I can lay out something and actually get something close to what I'm, I'm intending to do.
Oh, oops. I mean, that helps in the long run, I guess. I wasn't supposed to hit that part yet. All right, next rabbit, and it's much, it, and the rabbits are getting shallower as we go up, so should be much quicker with each one. Like I said, sorry, I'm kind of slow at starting these things. So. But once we get a once we get a little edge going, it's pretty much go. That's one more, and we'll have a decent edge to work against. Yeah, let's do one more, and then we will. You'll notice that once I get an edge going, I start going faster because I have a reference. Like I can feel whether or not the plane is straight against that edge. But yeah, if I can start drawing curves, uh, drawing profiles out and matching them, the first thing we're going to do is build a uh, stick er board, meaning just something to hang on the wall to put, uh, just to put uh, like all the other stickers on, all these Craftsman's Guild stickers that I've got, and the uh, Wood by Wright sticker, one of my own. Yeah. Like we would, anyone else who's giving me a sticker, just so we can cross promote. That's not a good treatment. I can definitely tell why, like, in days of old, molding was, like, the highest of the high for, uh... Like, if your furniture had molding on it, I can see why that was expensive. Although, I can also see the more you do this, the faster you get. catch up on this side. edge because I'm bad at it. But they're not that far out of square, which means I'm getting better at it. Okay. 
Next rabbit. <laughs> Honestly, I'm looking at this going, oh. Now we can just do our best. that reference line in and we're getting somewhere here you go guys a little bit of progress for you guys so we've cut these rabbits we're gonna cut this rabbit and then most likely a second rabbit right down the center here and uh, then we can start playing with the hollow in the round And as I make these things, if I find a profile that I like, I'm just going to saw off a small piece so that I have a reference profile to go, yeah, I liked this. Keep this so that I have a, a pattern that I can just straight trace instead of tracing my planes and connecting with lines. I can just trace it and then put the uh, marking gauge lines on it. Hey, Mecha Form! It is. If this comes out any kind of decent and I like the shape, I'm gonna saw the edge off and keep it as a template. Hey, Mecha, while you're there, let me show you something. Here's my, uh, Here's my uh, Atkins that came from uh, Mr. James Wright. Came in on yesterday right around 1 o'clock. Nice 5 TPI Atkins saw. <laughs> I mean, he, he, Mecca's always around. Whether or not he's here, he's here. Got to get this edge started here. <laughs> okay, that one's a good one. That is a good one, Cat. Okay, there we go. I think we got us. I think we got us a decent edge started for this second to last rabbit. Oh, that's punny. That is punny. That is a very punny comeback. Okay, got to make sure I'm not going too far because this is a very shallow rabbit. We're almost done with it. Test. Why, what are we testing out? Okay, one second. I mean, uh, there might be a delay between me responding to you guys and not. I don't really know, but I can hear you. Also, uh, Dwelling Willing, uh, glad to see you in the chat. Oh no. Okay, 
are just a few on this side. Okay, now we make the secondary rabbit, which I'm an idiot and didn't mark out. That's fine. Idiot is as idiot do. And we got... No, this is practice for the framing for the sticker board. Um, it's uh, what I'm doing, Mecca. I'm just, I picked a profile out of uh, Bickford's book, laid it out on the end here, and just said, do the profile, do the profile. That way, um, you know, I can sit here and just figure out a profile I like a little bit later on, make sure I have a You, uh, you might have to, you might have to, but I mean, it's just one of those, I'm just practicing saying, okay, here's the shape, lay out the shape, do the shape. And if, you know, if I can do that, then <laughs> but I mean, like, it's one of those do the shape, uh, did you get the shape you intended? Did you get close enough? You know, I'm, right now I'm building the skill. Build the skill so that when it, you know, probably a few weeks from now, we might, we might just be going, okay, here's a bunch of poplar. We're going to make the frame. We're going to drop some quarter inch plywood in there and start sticking stickers. that and now we just need to figure out where we're stopping here basically there's not going to be it's not going to be all that deep of a rabbit so we can go here bloop okay and then we can go here okay so there were some layout lines I didn't show you guys at the very beginning because I was incorrect. But I, you have to break up concave things into steps so that you can get the curve started correctly or stably. I, I should just say stably because, I mean, there are people who literally do not do all, all of this work to make it stable. They just have muscle memory. Oh, I... Yes, very much. I'm very happy to be woodworking as opposed to restoring. Knowing how to restore is great. Having to restore is not. Having to restore it is not a fun time because you, you're not doing it because you want to restore. You're doing it because it has to be restored because you can't do anything else with it. It's one of those, like, it's digging at the back of your brain kind of things. Okay, getting that guiding line in. I think one more and then we can start doing the actual rabbit. I think three is my magic number on these at this point. All right. Definitely tell I learned a lot on Wednesday using them the first time. I'm a little more comfortable using them this time. Okay, Windows, stop making your noises and making me jump around, boys.
definitely have an edge. And we're definitely going to start working our way down. But in the future, when I get really comfortable with these, I've already picked out a few planes that I'm probably going to end up buying from Bickford again, uh, just to complete out what I think I will need. Uh, I think the next will be a set of twos, so I can do a bead, and then a set of snipes and, and half rounds. And at that point, I think I'll be happy, and then it can be whatever happens at, by that point. Yep, okay, that's all of the horizontal rabbits. Now we do a 45 rabbit on this curve. Oh, let, let, let me explain. Okay, gotta stop because this is completely new to me too. So we've made a couple rabbits here so that I can get a hollow. Have a good one, Mecca, so I can set the hollow on two points and get a consistent curve. Here we have one point on this round section, which I'm sorry. Everything's backwards. I need to basically cut a 45 or cut an angle there so I can get two points to make it stable for the plane. So I have two points of contact and the plane can actually, and the, and the hollow can sit on it stably. So what we're doing now is cutting that corner off. Have a good one, Mecca. Glad you could stop in at least a little while. I'll make sure to post a picture of where we get to on Instagram. And the idea is to use the rabbit to take as much material as you can off. Because this is a straight blade, very easy to sharpen. So wear this guy down, let the hollows and rounds do the delicate work near the end. So taking this corner off is getting you basically some of the rounding done because we're getting things done. Once we get to a point where I think we're done doing a chamfer on this, I will show you the profile again. we're getting to the point the the maximum limit of where I can go with this before I start hitting different parts of the molding yeah yep starting to hit different parts of the molding so we'll put this guy up he's gonna get to be retired for the rest of the street all right so progress pick number 45 <laughs> number 60 so we cut the corner off of there, and now we get to play with hollows and rounds to make the shape come out. First will be my number eight hollow, right? This is a number eight, yep, yep. Okay, so we can...
just kind of keep going until you got that shape. show you guys the update this is where we're at you notice we've rounded this guy off actually we might take one or two more passes yeah but I mean doing pretty good facing the other direction with everyone else. And now the hard part, the round. You gotta balance it on the two pieces and hope to God I'm doing this right. They are doing pretty good. One second here. Let me put the put the round down. Um, this camera, right here. All right. I'm wishing I could make a a bright color for you to see against. Ooh, duh. Here we go. That's where we're at molding wise. We're just, I picked a molding shape out of the, out of Matt Bickford's book and said, this is what we're going to try and build. We're just going to sit here and practice until we get it. I'll tell you the truth, I'm doing better than I thought I would. tells me
Hey, Rage, how you doing? Okay, this is a little too heavy set. Pull the rabbit back out, because I'm realizing right now Just to give you an idea, Rage, we are trying to make molding. Oh, nice. I'm going to have to learn how to do it. <laughs> Free fall, just whether or not I want to. There we go. Just uh, the lip was doing a, a nice little uh, swoop up. Um, you got snipe bills, I see. That I do want to get eventually, snipe bills and half rounds. Okay, I think... I mean, they're snipe bills. Everyone should want a snipe bill. Those things are great. Okay, well... What time is it? Jesus, okay, one stick of... <laughs> One stick basically was the entirety of our stream today. Um, like I said, this has all just been practice. All right. Let me burnish this down. Yes, there is no sanding. There's only rubbing wood on wood. This is actually a trick of the old, before there was such thing as sandpaper. There was rubbing shavings over what you, cook, or what you cut to compress the fibers and get you a nice sheen. Okay, other than like screwing up royally here at the end, we've got a decent profile going here. Mm, there's a little bit of cleanup I can do. In fact, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup here. But I'm liking it, and we may saw the end of it off and uh, call that a, call that a uh, profile we'll use. But there is still a little bit of high spot here that I do not want. The back doesn't matter. The back's all kinds of screwed up. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about messing that up, really. into my patented made by dad when I was a kindergartner. That was my, that and the tools he put in it were my Christmas gift from him. And, and we're not talking, uh, you are a little too heavy. And we're not talking Fisher Price plastic tools. We're talking actual like hammers. That is really weird, Rage. I mean, 
If I was No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I will agree with you on that one. It does not. Yeah, unlike eBay, Unlike eBay, eBay is just terrible. Um, I love the fact that like you can find a shooting plane for Lee Nielsen in like the thousands on eBay. Lee Nielsen's actually making those things again. <laughs> and they make it for, what was it, 650 is new? Okay. I think we got us a good profile here. I just gotta make sure to remember that to get the uh, rabbits correct, but I mean, actually, yeah, that would actually be a good bit of cornice for like a dresser or something. Yes, they are. I'm still holding out for the left-hand shooting plane production run that they're possibly doing um, next year. Because I'd rather not pay as much as Jim Bode wants for a left-hand shooter. You know what? I think, guys, we have accomplished our goal. We've learned... <laughs> I know you taunted me with that left hand shooting plane because you've got one of the one of the ones that has a wooden box. Ah. Okay, guys, um, hey, I know you've, you've got the crate. You've got like number seven or something like that. You lucky dog. Somebody talks him. No, I'm just joking. Do not do that. <laughs> I immediately take that back. <laughs> but I mean, we could always talk about uh, your other Lee Nielsen tools here that you're trying to get rid of. So here's something. Uh, you, I don't know if you know Wood by Right on YouTube, um, but we just did a trade. Um, I got this nice uh, five point Atkins. Um, just got this five point Atkins from him. Okay, that's the defect he was talking about. Hell, that, I can take a plier to that and fix that. Just right at the very tip. That's just, that's nothing. Um, basically, I traded my Stanley 45 hollow and round number eight attachment and blades for the saw. And yes, I may be on the receiving end of not getting the money. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. Not gonna say no, Rach. Um, but uh, I, he probably got the upper hand because those things are, the uh, 45 attachments are worth a pretty penny now, but I'm never gonna use them because Southpaw planes. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll gladly look at them, but I, I don't have a lot of room. I'll gladly look at like a lot of your stuff. Um, go ahead and PM me. That That's perfectly fine. Uh, but, um, Rage, that's a price I can't deny. <laughs> um, but it's, 
Yeah, free is always good. I'll, I'll, I'll find a use for multiples. Um, I'm glad that the bench is at least holding up. Uh, the good thing is, is uh, I got a piece of sticking done, which is nice. Um, and it looks pretty much like I was hoping it would look. It's a little deformed down the ways, but we will fix that after we, we will get better with that. So with that done, I think we should actually possibly let me. Oh, no, it does weird shit. Let me stop that camera because this is how I get stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving these planes. Um, they cost a pretty penny. Uh, because they are, uh, of course, let me, five, four, three, two, one. They cost a pretty penny because they are left-handed and I had them made because I wanted left-handed molding planes. Um, but they are very, very nice and I enjoy using them, so. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mind the fact that I spent the money on them. Okay. Yeah, left-handed molding planes are mythical. Uh, MS Bickford, if you ever want to do molding planes in left-handed, or honestly, if you just want a really good read, grab this book, but he also makes molding planes. They are a pretty penny. But he will gl he gladly like walked me through figuring out what size planes I should start with, uh, what set I should do. He he has no problem making them left-handed. <laughs> Naka. So my family has the curse of left-handed. If you're a guy, if you're if you're a man, you're left-handed. Uh, All right, so, okay, so we got Texas Hula's is working. Uh, Emil Imagine is still, still streaming. We have anyone else here? Let's see, we've got, I just like to look. I mean, Hula. Ah. We, our family should never meet then, because then we're just going to either make nothing but right-handed people or nothing but left-handed people. <laughs> okay, so I'll give I'll give you guys the, the actually no we're gonna I mean Hula's great he's a great guy to to talk with and everything, but let, let's give Emil Imagine some support here. She's been, she's been streaming all this morning and, and I think she'd like a good pick me up. And she looks like she is wood carving right now. So we are going to raid Emil Imagine. She, she is French. Um, she does speak English, but there will be an accent. But I think we should be raiding her this morning. She's raided me so many times. Let's go and return the favor, guys. Thank you for, uh, thank you for staying with me while I'm learning my planes. And uh, hope you guys have a good Sunday afternoon. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a good one.